guys, it's Lori here, your Cheeky Crafter. This is the Stamps of Life July's 2021 kit. And the paper colors, of course, you've got your four sheets of powdered sugar. Then you've got ginger snap, grape, sunshine, tangerine, strawberry, blueberry, sky, and chocolate. And you've got two different ribbons and some additional embellishments. You've got your tin envelopes that come standard in the kits. Some dies. One says Summer Lovin'. Then you've got a starfish and a shell. And then you've got some other sayings. And here is the 6x6 paper pad that I'm flipping through. And some of these have cutouts. So if you're a member of the Die Hard Club, you'll get the stamps and dies. And those die cuts will work with this paper. So let's get started with card design number one. I took uh, two strips. I cut them to four and a quarter by one inch each put them on the top and the bottom of the paper. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this to the card base. And this will cover that red paper is cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. Now I cut um, a stitch circle using the Gemini, uh, uh, sorry, not circle, oval. Gemini stitched ovals. And I cut that out and now I am going to take some gold glittery Love from Lizzie strips and put them in the white parts. I wanted this to kind of look like the sun was shining down on the sand castle. So I gave it a little bit of extra glimmer. And what I'm doing there is just checking to see where the sand castle will cover up. That way I don't use up all of my Love from Lizzie strips. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put the sand castle down there on top. And you'll see I stamped at the bottom Hello Summer. That is from the Stamp and Die Hard Club kit sand castles to stamp or sandcastles for stamp. I think it's sandcastles to stamp. And then I'm just going to add a few epoxy dots here to finish off the card. And that's card design number one. For card design number two, I took some of the ginger snap cardstock and tore a piece. Then I'm going to ink up the edges with Gina K's Sandy Beach just to give it a little bit of color. And then I'm going to stamp in the bottom right corner with Gina K charcoal brown the sentiment I dig you and then I'm going to adhere that to the blue cardstock but first I'm going to add some of this ribbon and I'm just going to peel that uh, double sided tape off line up my card so I can make sure I get my ribbon straight on there using that grid of my board in the background then I'll put this uh, card which the blue cardstock I cut to sorry that's pattern paper it's got pattern on the other side I cut that to um, four by five and a quarter. So that gives me a little bit of white border around the card, but then this piece is cut to four and a quarter, so it goes all the way across the bottom. And then these are some of the cutouts from the pattern paper using the die cuts again that come with the stamp and die hard club. Or this yeah, the die hard club. Um, that's a puffy sticker there on the bottom. And now I'm gonna make a bow to go on the top. So this is my we are memory key. We are memory key, yeah, uh, bow maker. And it's real simple to use. I'll do another video on that soon. But you just basically wrap it around and make your uh, bow tie a knot. And then you're, I mean, that's pretty much it. You're set. So I'm just trimming up the edges there to make sure that it looks more finished. And then I'll add some double-sided tape to the back to get it to stick really nicely. And then I realized that I wanted to uh, put some clouds on the background. And I had forgotten to do that. So I'm going to show you how I did it on a different sheet of paper. So I used Gina K Ocean Mist because I wanted it to be really just kind of subtle on the blue background. Now, obviously, I'm using a white background here to show you. And this is the Stamps of Life Cloud and Hexagon Stencil. And I'm just uh, doing uh, three rows, I think, of the clouds. And you'll see how it looks there. Now, on the blue paper, obviously, it's much more subtle. And so there you have it, card design number three. Okay, this is actually card design number three. You can see where I cut this tag out of the background. That's from Queen & Company's foundation die set number one. Then I'm adding the pattern paper on top. So the cardstock is five and a half by four and a quarter. Pattern paper is five and a quarter by four. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that to my card base and then I'll get busy decorating the front. So I've got the tag. I also cut some blue cardstock using that border there that came with the set. Then I ran it through Pink and Main's Catch a Wave embossing folder. Now I'm going to use some Gina K 
blue raspberry and I'm just going to go over that and you can see it kind of makes those waves pop out a little more so it gives it some dimension by doing that Then I'm going to run around the edges of the tag again with that same blue raspberry then I'll add the sentiment and I'm going to use the sentiment from the card kit or excuse me from the stamp and die hard club uh, which is called it just says seize the day I thought that was cute with the boats since obviously the, the boats would be on the sea then I'm just going to add this uh, little wave border down there at the bottom of the card. Then I've got some blue and white twine and I'm going to make a, um, you know, add that to the tag. So I'll just run that through, pull it up, and then I'm going to um, cut off the excess. And then I'm going to separate all the little strands just to kind of make it a little fussier. And then I grab my little pick tool from Cricut and it makes it much easier to separate those strands because that tool just is wonderful. And then I will go ahead and glue this down to the card. Trim up the edges there a little bit. Glue it down to the card. And then um, I'm going to add some epoxy dots just to kind of finish off the card. And I'll just add them around. So again, a very simple card, but still card design number three. For card design number four, the purple paper is cut to five and a half by four and a quarter, but the pattern paper that says Summer Loving is cut to four by five. So I left a little extra at the bottom because I'm going to add this scalloped border. And you'll see I just cut, I just took three different pieces of paper and cut them using the, or ran them through the die cut using that uh, scallop border. And then I'm going to layer them on top of each other. To make the uh, to make a border that's going to go at the bottom, and so the reason I cut the summer loving paper shorter was so that it wouldn't show at the bottom of those scallops. And so now that I've got these together, I'm just going to trim up everything so that it's all nice and even all the way around. So I'm just trimming off those edges to make the whole piece four and a quarter wide, and then I'm going to trim up the top just to make it look a little nicer and more finished on the card. So I'll go ahead and add this uh, pattern paper to the card stock. Then I will be able to get the scallop border on there. But first I'm going to add it to the card base. That way if I have to cut off any, I can do that before I add the scallop border, but it fits perfect. So I'll add the scallop border. Again, just lining it up at the bottom and you can see where that little bit of purple shows through. Then I went ahead and cut a scallop border that has the yellow and white stripe from the pattern paper. Again, to sort of mimic the sun, but it ends up looking more like an awning, which is fine. Then I cut out the Summer Loving. I just uh, cut it with the purple pattern paper, and then the Summer Loving is just plain white cardstock. So I'll adhere that to the top. And then I'm going to get some of those puffy stickers and just line them up around the bottom. I thought this would be kind of cute to just finish off that border look, if you will. And this is card design number four. And finally, for card design number five, I cut out this shape for the sentiment from Queen & Company's foundation die number six. And then I've got that yellow sunglass pattern paper that I'm just putting against the yellow cardstock border. I wanted the background to be a little bit more subtle because I'm going to kind of have the sandcastle on top, which will make it stand out. The sentiment here says you're never too old to make sandcastles. And that is from the Stamps of Life. Um, it's like an add-on set, if you will. It's called Sayings for Sandcastles. So it's, it's really kind of cute. There's a lot of fun sayings in there. And then I'm just going to take the sandcastle and pop it up using some foam squares from Scrapbook Adhesives. And um, this, again, is a very simple card. I'm going to add a few epoxy dots as well. And this will just help kind of finish off the card, give it a little extra color pop to it. And this is card design number five. Here again are all five cards I made using the Stamps for Life July 2021 kit. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.